if we have two lines which are intersecting each other, is it possible to find the equation of any other line which passes through them, that is passes through the point of intersection of these lines so that the three lines are concurrent? Yes, it is. And here is how it is done. Lines through the intersection of two lines. The diagram is shown for your benefit. The equation of the family of lines passing through the intersection of the lines a1x plus b1y plus c1 equals 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equals 0 is a1x plus b1y plus c1 plus lambda into a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 where lambda is a parameter. So therefore we have the two lines a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 intersecting somewhere see at this point and through that point there is another line shown by the dotted line now how do i find the equation of the dotted line now of course for that we require an additional condition but then it is possible to find the general structure of this line and if we are uh, if we know one more geometrical condition about the dotted line then we can definitely write down the equation of the jotted line as well. But then at least to start off with, we can say that the equation of the dotted line will be of the form a1x plus b1y plus c1 plus lambda into a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. If the point P5 lies on the line parallel to y-axis and passing through the intersection of the lines 2 a square plus 1x plus by plus 4 a cube plus a equals 0 and a square plus 1x minus 6 by plus 2 a square plus a equals 0. What's the value of p? Is p given in terms of a like this? That's 3a minus 2a minus 3a or plus 2a. So we have seen in the previous section that if you have a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0, a line passing through the point of intersection of these points is given by a1x plus b1y plus c1 plus an arbitrary constant lambda times a2x plus b2y plus c2 equals 0. So therefore, doing the same thing for our question here, we get a square plus 1 into lambda plus 2 plus by into 1 minus 6 lambda x plus 2 times a cube plus a times 2 plus lambda equals 0. So therefore, this is the equation, of the general equation of line passing through those two lines, that is a point of intersection of those two lines. It's been given that it's parallel to the y-axis. If it is parallel to the y-axis, it will not even have a y, uh, y uh, term. The coefficient of the y term will become 0. Since it is parallel to the y-axis, its coefficient of y equals 0. So 6 lambda, that is 1 minus 6 lambda equals 0. So you get lambda is equal to one sixth. What next? Okay, substituting lambda is equal to one sixth, we get a square plus one into x plus two times a cube plus a equals 0. So this gives us 
a square plus 1 times x plus 2a into a square plus 1 equals 0. And so we get x plus 2a equals 0. That is x is equal to minus 2a. So x is equal to minus 2a is the equation of the line. Now the point p comma 5 passes through this point and therefore p plus 2a is equal to 0 thus giving p is equal to minus 2a and this is the value of the arbitrary constant p. And so,